Heavy week. One of the hardest weeks you're gonna have to face. But you know what makes a heavy week better? Harleys. So here we are once again with Harley Davidson and today we are going to take the new Sportster S on some twisties. Ye freaking ha. Yip, yip, yip. So welcome to the Peak District on a sunny British day with Harley Davidson. Goal number one is to overtake everybody in front of me. Hell yeah, here we go. Yeah, buddy. Oh, she's got some poke. Oh, she's got some poke. So here we are on some of the slower twisties and do this thing, I mean look, single-handed, oof, that whips around the bends, absolutely whips around, oh, like I feel the engine underneath my butt and it gets me excited, makes me want to do this, <laughs> so it else makes me excited, these views, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the north of England on a sunny day. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but it makes a nice noise. And this is with the stock pipes as well. If you were to strip those things off, put some nice custom welded exhaust down the side. Oh, as well, we've got those big meaty tires. Look at this. Wee doggy. That has got some poke. Third gear. Whoop, whoop. Don't you just love it when the trees all hook over and create little lanes like this? Oh, come on, bro. British countryside in the summer. Look at that lake down there. Can we see it? Can you see that? Can you see that? Look at that. Oh, God damn. This is what it's about. Engine beneath you. Views in front of you. Sun above you. Yes, people. Welcome to motorbiking. Ooh, but you take this, look, if you put this into a corner and then you don't let it go down like it wants, it gets a little moody with you. Like, it little, it's like, mm, it gives you a little bit of a, come on. I like that. Hell yeah. Let's go, bro. This thing has got some whip and running third down into third and corner. Comes round. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Ah, it's got some torques. You still have to muscle it round in the corners a little bit, but it does want to drop in. And that's even with these big, big, big fat old girls on the front there. Look. Look at this. I mean, look. I just keep saying just look, but... <laughs> We're running on a 1250S engine. This is the same engine that is in the Pan America, but tuned slightly differently. Full digital gauge, which hooks up through Bluetooth to your phone. Heated grips, ladies and gentlemen. Heated grips on a Harley Davidson. We've got all your different modes up here. So we've got road, rain, sport. And obviously with sport, you get a little bit more poke, a little bit less engine braking. Yes, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> f you, f you, lorry man, f you. <laughs> freedom, freedom. I'd say you probably get like 110 out of the tank, I'd say. Push it, maybe 120 if you're eco with it. And we also have, look at this, an actual cruise control. If we hold that up, should, oh, there we go. And that's it, set. It's cruise control, me doing nothing, and it's tootling away. Look at <laughs> An up-to-date technological Harley Davidson, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit! Self-drive. 
Home please, James. Straight into a twisty. Welcome to the country roads on a Harley. Let's see what she's got. Ooh, wee. Hell yeah, man. Dealt with some of those potholes quite nicely. I'll tell you one thing, there's not a lot of engine braking. Not a lot of engine braking, so you do have to work the brakes. So it's definitely set up for that kind of sports style riding. But, oh, that torque. Did we smack one of them? No. Okay. <laughs> top end wise, probably looking about 120 on these, but we all know Hondies aren't about those top ends. You haven't got the wind protection for that top end speed anyway. Holy crap, look at this view. Look at this view. Oh, wow. Wow. This is another level. This is 100% an evolution because in the past, coming down here in a Harley just would have been just no. This is what you want. You want that adventure. We're out in the wilderness, out on the Wigglies, enjoying those summer days. Hell yeah, baby. Welcome to the sports dress. Woo! Go, 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 come on. Oh, damn it. Why are there other people on my roads? Seriously, what do I pay road tax for? Get off the road. I've paid road tax this year. Everybody off. I've hired the roads. <laughs> so here's the thing. Listen, I started out this world doing fitness related stuff. Me picking stuff up and putting it down in a gym. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to start also showing you guys some stuff more about life and enjoyment and getting through times in life that can get through the times that are great, making the most of them, but also getting through those times that are a little bit tougher, which obviously so many of you have gone through with the COVID and everything going on. I know a lot of people who are newly single, like myself, you know, and they're struggling because you know they're coming out of a, a low time into what's seemingly another low time because they're single but this is not the truth i mean you now are free whether it's because you're single or because you're out of covid to go and chase what it is that you've been missing if anything you should know now what it is that makes you smile that makes you laugh that makes you happy and um so this is why i'm showing you the bikes is because it's about getting out seeing the world look at this Spending time getting out of your head and into there. Look at that. Getting out of those four walls of the house will do more for you than you'll ever know. So don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be afraid to get out there. And don't ever let anybody else tell you, oh no, I don't think that's for you. Don't let other people tell you what's for you because people will doubt you. People will question you. I started lifting weights in the gym and now I'm out on rides with Harley. Come on. Don't tell me you can't chase what you love doing. <laughs> yeah. Coming down back into the twisties. This is where the fun is. For the first time, we've got sports modes. We've got engine braking adaption. We've got... Oh, get in there. Heel dragging. Oh, I just scuffed my heel. <laughs> Dude, this is up there with those kind of BMW R90s in handling styles. 100%. Damn, this is fun. Well done, Harley. Come on, get over, get over. Get over, get over. Woo -wee. This is what it's about. Look at this. What a day. What a day. Let's go. Long roads, summer days, trees, green, lakes. Harleys. Look at this. Look how flickable that is. Woof. That is a Harley, ladies and gentlemen, that can do this. <laughs> just the scenery, the day, the sun. Just what an amazing pickup from uh, a week prior where I was super overwhelmed with tons of work and committing to the, you know, creating good edits for you guys and content and, and I, I love that drive and I love the fact you guys are loving the series but it does put a lot of pressure on just me because anyone I'm even bringing on to work with me at the moment is still kind of learning as well. Come on girl, come on, flick it in, bang! 
Oh yeah! It did seem just there was that moment, you know, where everything started to pile up on me. And this, just this. <laughs> just reset. Totally reset and refreshed. And this is why I do what I do. Because it gives me opportunities like this to enjoy days like this. Work hard in the trenches to enjoy those rewards. Come on, come on, bro. Get over it. Yes! <laughs> Ah, oh, that puts a smile on your face. It seems we're going to have some good weather over the back end of August into early September. Would you guys be up for a ride out? And if you would be up for a ride out, a group, a crew ride out, where would be a good place to launch it from? Because obviously I'm in the middle of England, I'm bang in the middle of so come up with ideas, comment section below. If you want to ride out, where, when, and would you like it to be like a full day, or maybe you go to a campsite, chill out, do a bit more riding the next day you know let me know for some ideas because winter is going to be on us before we know it so let's take advantage of the summer that's still here to play considering we're stuck behind this uh wonderfully slow car in front it's the end of the ride for today on the harley davidson sportster s i think i might want one <laughs> Welcome to Heavy Week. So we've got the beats playing and we're going to need it because Heavy Week gets hard. The goal of Heavy Week is to be lifting between four to eight reps, but it's those reps that are going to dictate the weight in which you use. So whatever's going to bring you to that point of failure of six reps or that four to eight range, that's what we're going to be using. So heavy in this terminology is what's relevant to you in comparison to what you lift. So don't worry about anything other than hitting that four to eight rep range. We are training everything twice a week. This is high frequency training. So today we're doing triceps, chest, and hamstrings. Five sets on every body part, two exercises, but they're getting trained twice a week. So we're hitting everything with four exercises per week, but split over two sessions. The reason I train like this, it reduces the risk of injury. It actually increases the level of stimulation we're hitting the muscles because we're hitting them more frequently during the week and we actually get more sets overall because we're doing five sets over two exercises. That's 10 sets per session, 20 sets over the week, which smashes those four, 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 four sets that people do with single body parts. They're only hitting 16. So we're, hit, we're stimulating it more and we're actually getting more volume in on those muscles. I, honestly, once you try this, I promise you, you won't go back. It's also more interesting because we're able to train three body parts in a day rather than just two or even one. So in terms of falling off and getting bored, it's not likely. So as it is, you've come in at the point of me completing my first two sets of five sets on triceps. Now the first two sets that you're going to do, they're going to hit that upper eight rep range. What we're then going to do is up that weight. And for the next three sets, I'm aiming for that four to six rep range. If I keep hitting eight all the way through, it's too light. I want the weight to bring me down. If I hit under four, I know that that weight is too heavy. Or if I just kind of get four, then that's bang on on my final set. So two sets, you kind of warm in on that eight. eight. Ooh, I think somebody just died. 
So out of your five sets on the first two, you're going to warm in almost, hitting that upper eight of the rep range. And then as we hit that third set, so three, four, and five, you're going to hit that heavy weight. If any of this is confusing you, don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comment section below. And while you're there, make sure to hit that notification bell and hit on the drop down to be notified of all uploads so you don't miss any of this and we can all stay on track together. You're also going to need to do one more thing. After you've subscribed to the notifications, you're going to need to get a notepad or you're going to need to make notes on your phone because this is the single week where you're going to need to take a note of the weights you lift on the movements you're doing. And the goal here is to see them slowly increment up. But progression is not always just the weights. Progression can be one more extra rep, a cleaner four to six reps. That's all progression and you will see it. During these heavy weeks, we're gonna be focusing on compound movements. So during the mind to muscle, we're gonna be focusing more on those isolations. In the volume week, we've got a mixture of the both. But in the heavy week, it's those compounds that we wanna be putting ahead of everything else. You can still mix in some of your favorite isolations, but do not neglect the compounds. That's all. <laughs> another death, somebody else just died. Let's get the new montage quick before another person perishes. Get me home. 